to veer off in a segment here because a lot of people are asking for, um, you know, that don't catch the show, a update and what's going on. I'm, I, I want to use this segment real quick to tell you what's going on with the comic book stuff, give you an update, but also what the aspirations are. Because I want people to really, really understand, uh, though I've done a video explaining what it is, is, is happening. But here we are. So we're today was the 26th that I'm shooting this of October. The goal is to have some sort of prepared announcement that will either announce the pre-order in itself or announce that there will be an announcement soon soon from the pre-order. So basically letting people know how close we are to this. And that should happen by the latter half of uh, December. Now, it may cross over into shit happens. Uh, It may cross over into January. But hopefully we have that good ready uh, to be announced uh, so you guys can 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 start preparing your books for this universe in the comic book stuff that I'm, that I plan to do. So I want to be more precise about what you're getting yourself into. Now I've said this and I'm going to say it again. My, my competition is not with the people that are on the side. Some of even my colleagues who I love to death who have one or two comic books that exist that they're building upon. There's not, I'm going to have nothing against this. But that's not my, those are not my aspirations. My direct competition are these guys, right? Hopefully you replace your, hell, even on my wall, you replace all of this shit with my shit. Those are the, those are the goals there. But my direct competition is with them. And what I mean by that is that I'm trying to start, or have an entire universe centered around and expanded upon multiple books. Okay. Now my release schedule and all of that is to be determined. And it's certainly not going to be following in the footsteps of these quacks nowadays who just basically release as many books as they possibly can. And it's impossible for people to keep up with, but my aspirations are centered around having this extravagant, expansive universe um, in which hopefully people have someone at least they can they like to keep up with. Hopefully there's multiple people that are within the stories that to keep that they want to keep up with. But we'll start by it'll be one character whose books who books will release. That's the book that's being worked on now. We're about 30 pages in of completed pencils and ink, 25 pages of color Um uh, um, we're moving on about a five page schedule where we have about, um, you know, we're, we're almost 100 pages in the, of this book, of the initial book. But the reason why this book is so important is not only does it, it's the character's obviously first book, which I believe will be a mainstay in this universe, but it's also the first, uh, it's the first book. So it launches everything in the regards to the universe. So there's some important characters that are going to be launched whose uh, stories will be expanding outside of this initial book, uh, which is the plan. So you you get the book, you'll know about some of the characters, you'll know about the direction kind of that we're heading in. And so obviously in coming in the coming year, we release more books. Now I'd like to keep to where we're at now, we're releasing bigger books because you got to look at it like in this case, and I just want you to keep this in mind as well. The equivalent to what I've released is basic, or what I'm about to release is basically half of a year of an ongoing series for almost half a year of an ongoing series for Marvel to DC. Just to put that in perspective, that's how many, that's basically a hundred pages uh, right there. You're getting 20 and some 20 or so pages per comic book for generally uh, most ongoing series. So look at it like that bigger books, uh, maybe more time in between, of course you getting the next one. Um, if that series is to be ongoing. So continuity and canon are two of the most important concepts with the book. So I plan on once we have a bunch of books out, have a comprehensive uh, like reading order um, or re- not reading order, a timeline, read it in whatever order you can, but timeline, because not all stories are going to be told in chronological uh, order. Some may be done in the past. Never. Usually it's not going to ever be the future, but uh, some, you know, filling in some gaps and stuff. Uh, and you need to know that. So if the person is coming is late to the party, they get to know where they want to start or where they can start if they want to keep up to with what's going on. So, the, the, the point here is, is that we're, we're trying to build this expansive universe that is taken very seriously um, because all of the things that I gripe about with Marvel and DC, obviously, those are not those are not mistakes that I want to make. But it's also something unique with American uh, modern comic book 
book stuff. There's a reason why we fell in love with Marvel and DC growing up. And I still want to capture that because I, that is a market that is still, uh, it's not necessarily tapped manga uh, uh, suffice for a lot of people, but it's not replacing it. Some people are still itching for it. And I think this is why so many people are excited to w with what I'm trying to come up with. So once you, uh, uh, once we announce that, and then we go into the next year, we, we see kind of where those aspirations lead then. Because it's hard to gauge and impossible without putting out product how enthusiastic people are about it. I think we have a chance to do something special. We look at what some of my colleagues, Comics Gate guys and other guys as well, have been able to do and the amounts of revenue that they've been able to bring in. We have a chance to do that plus more. But more importantly, how enthusiastic people are is going to determine what ambitions we pursue. Again, remember who my competition are. Marvel has everything. DC has everything from, from merchandise to the books to all these other things they're doing. This is stuff that we like to include, of course, in ours. We want to replace them um, for you guys that are just looking for good work. But the creators, you, you want them to value that product. And this is where why I got inspired to do this myself. Uh, and uh, I, I thought that I was going to it wasn't going to be until I'm like 40 years old till I was able to do that. And you know, here you guys are supporting me and you put me in a financial situation to be able to pursue these dreams now. And it's never been more ripe of a time to do it. So my competition is with them and I want you to keep that in mind. There's always a bigger narrative to be told. There's always more that can be done. Um, I'd love to cross into the more merchandise, action figures, um, all of that sort of stuff, related things that that you can get. Um, and I've said maybe 10 years from now, we talk video games. Like These are all stuff that sounds unrealistic right now because we haven't put anything out. But, hell, this sound un sounded unrealistic for me maybe even three years ago that I would be in a position to be able to make something like this happen. So hopefully the launch of this entire universe goes in. It's probably going to be early before you can get a book in hand. It'll be maybe very early. Not maybe. It'll be very, very early 2022. The plan is by the end of December to at least have something announced uh, that's more formal. Um, and it's going to look legit, man. It's a legit uh, I'll announce who the uh, pencil inker and the colorist. I'll announce all of that stuff by then. And um, then it's off to the races. So that's where I'm at right now with it. Again, as of today, we have uh, the first book like completed. I'm moving in on about 30 pages. And yeah, it's moving along. It takes some time. Um, and hell, going into these next months, I'm going to be writing other stuff. So we can start working on those immediately. Um, future stories. So stay on a look, be on the lookout for that. Um, you guys have been amazing in terms of your support and I appreciate everything. Uh, all the enthusiasm, everybody that's emailing me saying, Hey, what's next? When is this coming? I appreciate all of you guys, but just be on the lookout. It's going to be something very special. And um, I think we're going to have a chance to really, really uh, do something crazy here. So be on the lookout. For you just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.